The fundraising efforts is the greatest challenge every year for us. Um, we tend to, as you would rightly point out, go back to the same persons every year for the um, donations. And so it really waxes and wins depending on, on years. We've, our best year was, I think, $90,000 we had raised. Um, this is not, 2017 was not one of our best years. Um, and the fundraising efforts are not only solicited from the business community and the general public, but it's also initiatives from within staff events at Social Security. So it's a constant challenge for us. Okay, how, uh, how did you all select the recipients of this year's proceeds? It's simply because those are the only two persons that submitted requests for 2017. Um, for whatever reason, Jules, we don't have a lot of, of, of requests for, um, for assistance under the Right Across Belize. Social Security does. This is two different things. This is the Right Across Belize initiative. Um, and we tend to choose um, projects that have a start and an end date because we, we don't, we're not able to pro provide that um, sustainable financing that some people might request for okay. teachers, that sort of stuff. So we choose projects that have a start and an end date and a definite budget. What we're trying to do is threefold. One, get people to eat healthy. So the program aims to teach children, look man, right in your backyard you could produce something, you know, you could grow cucumber, lettuce, you could grow uh, watermelon, you could grow lots of things in your backyard, fruit and vegetables. So by promoting it in the schools where a bunch of children learn, and then in that same school, because most of them have a kitchen and a feeding program, they learn that you eat this very thing you just have is from outside, and then by putting it in a curriculum, we hope to engender in them this very question you ask, a sense that, look, I can be productive, it's not everything I have to go and buy, and so I can make, a, one, make a living, or two, live healthy without tremendous expense. That is the concept. We've done successfully in Toledo. There are two, there's a school there that's doing awesome, and if you go up to uh, Arindra District on the York Creek Road, there's another school that's doing fantastic. The kids are really, really engaged. But we don't want to leave out Belize City, which is the jewel, so we are, we are attempting this in, in Belize City as well. And as you know, uh, Senior Superintendent and Howell Gillett attempted this in Belmopan with the Aid of Four Ministry. So we want to also partner with his program here in Belize City to see how we can advance that.